Welcome to BitMEX Exchange Leverage Trading Tutorial for Beginners. In this video, we will go through all important features of BitMEX so you can start leverage trading successfully. Relax and watch till the end because at the end of the video, I'm also going to tell you if you should be using BitMEX or if you should trade on another crypto platform. So first of all, I would like to show what coins can you actually trade on BitMEX. As you can see up here, when you register, you will actually get to this page right there. On this platform, on BitMEX, you can trade Bitcoin, Cardano, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, Ethereum, Litecoin, Tron and Ripple. This is a very good for BitMEX because on other platforms, this amount of coins is pretty limited. So this is a very nice feature that BitMEX actually included all of those coins. The biggest pro of BitMEX is actually volume. As you can see on BitMEX, there is more than 1 billion and a half volume traded in 24 hours. This is, in my opinion, the biggest pro of BitMEX because there is more likely that your order will actually get filled in the order book. So, on the left side right there, we have limit, market and stop market right there. The most important things in place order tab right there are limit and market order. If you place an order like a limit order, that means that you will actually get paid 0.025% when your order gets filled. That means that you can actually earn and start trading for free just by placing the limit orders on the order book. I would also suggest you here to turn on post only that prevents the system to actually get your order filled like a market order because sometimes it actually happens that the price moves so quickly that your order actually gets filled as a market order and because of that you want to check post only and use limit order here to make sure your order actually gets filled like a limit order. So market order, on the other hand, your order actually gets filled immediately, but you actually paid 0.075%. That means that you actually paid to BitMEX 0.075%. And also if you close your trade as a market order, that means that you will pay again 0.075%. So here we have something called leverage. Leverage, as you can see right there, I also made another video, so if you haven't already, check it out, it is popping up right now at the top of your screen. Leverage is something that you can use to increase the quantity that you are trading with. So, for example, if you have one Bitcoin in your wallet, you can actually trade with 100 Bitcoin if you are using 100x leverage. But you need to actually be careful with leverage, because if you use high leverage, that means that your liquidation price will actually be much much lower than for example using it on 1x. So this leverage is a little bit more advanced so like I said check out my video and you will learn more about leverage there. Also this leverage here Bitcoin for example has 100x leverage. Cardano actually has 20x, Bitcoin Cash has 25x and all of those coins have a little bit different leverage so bear this in mind. Also, we have a calculator right there. We, we can click on this icon here and we can actually calculate our profit and loss, target price and also liquidation price. So, for example, we can calculate our profit and loss. We, we, we go quantity. So if we are trading, for example, with one thousand US dollars, our entry point would be at uh, around right now at eleven thousand seven hundred and ninety three, for example, exit price and leverage. And it will calculate all of the things right there. You can also set long and short position depends on what order or what trade you want to take. Like I said, we have trading fees that you actually pay if you make a market order, but you actually get a rebate of 0.025% if you make a limit order. There are also something called funding fees or funding rate as you can see right there. So you need to pay or you get paid this funding rate right there every eight hours. But this funding rate actually depends on what position you're in. So for now, as you can see, this 0.01%, it is positive. If you're in a long position, you will actually pay 0.01%. But if you would be right now in a short position, you would actually get paid 0.01%. If this number is in negative, that means that shorts, that means that if you are in a short position, you will actually pay. But if you are in a long, when this number is in negative, 
that means that you will actually get paid 0.01% in this example, but this number can actually change. So be careful with this one. Okay. So as you can see, we also have a chart right there. So if you don't like to use, for example, trading view, which is a very great chart platform, you can also use this one. As you can see, you can actually put indicators on your chart to make your trades a little bit better. Uh, and also you can customize the timeframes and all of this good stuff because this is in fact trading view chart. But if you don't like to use it separately, you can use it uh, right there. Another great feature of Bitmax is that you can actually very customize your interface. So you can actually drag all of those windows around your screen. You can resize them as you can see right there. We can make it, for example, like this. And you can also remove them just by clicking the X right there. For example, X here and also X here. So you can bring them up with customize tab right there. Just click on the customize and you can actually check again this and this again, and you will bring your windows back to your layout right there. You can also change the theme or the colors of this platform. So for example, color theme right there, we can have it in the dark color. As you can see, now we have a dark theme or we can have a light theme right there. So right now I'm just going to use dark theme because in my opinion, it looks a little bit better. You can also change here currency display. For example, if you don't have a whole Bitcoin, you're not trading with the whole Bitcoin, you can actually change this, for example, to milli Bitcoin or for example, micro Bitcoin or even Satoshis, which is very useful for people that actually don't have a whole Bitcoin and that just like to trade, for example, with milli Bitcoin, micro Bitcoin or even Satoshis. Also, you can change here, customize, as you can see here, this tab right there, you can click this and it will change the layout. That means that we actually changed this dashboard layout right there. So we went from basic, which looks like this, to advanced. This just brings some more advanced windows on your um, layout right there. And for advanced users, this is a little bit better because there are more information. But like I said, you need to actually be more advanced user to use this. So there is also something called troll box at the bottom right corner of your screen. If you click this, you can actually chat with other people that are using BitMEX platform. But as you can see, it's called troll box for a reason because people are sometimes just trolling. And in my opinion, you don't get very useful information chatting with people using this troll box feature right there. So right now I'm going to show you how you can actually deposit Bitcoin to your wallet so you can actually start trading. All you have to do, click on the amount right there in the top corner right there, total right there, click on this. And as you can see here, you can deposit, just click deposit and it will give you this address where you can actually deposit your Bitcoins. Be careful. you only need to deposit Bitcoin on this address and also the minimum deposit is 0, 0.000 Bitcoin and also how to withdraw just click on withdraw right there and you can actually withdraw the amount that you want also bear this in mind that there is also a fee when you withdraw so as you can see Bitcoin network fee is 0 0.0018 Bitcoin that is currently around 20 US dollars so for example, if you have a smaller account, I would first recommend that you build it up, for example, to 100, 200, and then withdraw it because you actually need to bear in mind that you will going to pay 0.0018 Bitcoin uh, for a withdraw request. Also, another big con of BitMEX is that sometimes where there is a lot of orders, sometimes there are server errors. In my opinion, this is just ridiculous. So for example, when we have big Bitcoin or other cryptocurrency, moves sometimes this platform just lags and start crashing and because of that sometimes you cannot get out of a position or even into a position and because of that personally i don't use bitmax i am using bybit currently so i would strongly recommend you if you want to trade longer term bitmax is a great platform to use but if you like to for example swing trade or for example scalp i would suggest you to use bybit platform for leverage trading i also made a tutorial video about Bybit platform that is popping up right now at the top right corner of your screen. And also I have a sign up link to Bybit platform down below in the description. So if you haven't signed up on Bybit, I would strongly recommend you to do so. If you haven't already smashed the like button down below, it will only take you one second and make sure you're subscribed to the channel because you definitely don't want to miss more of those trading tips and tricks. Right now, you can watch one of those two videos that are popping up right now on your screen. Thank you all guys for watching and peace out.